everyone my name is abhishek jain and through this video i'm just gonna explain how can you set up a natural language toolkit python modules for a window operating system so what exactly the nrtk is nrtk is a module that actually helps us to build an application and a software related to a natural language processor now what is natural language processing natural language processing is a application or a software that actually helps computer to understand a human language so let's quickly jump into the demo part and see how we can install a NLTK python module on our machine so for that what you have to do is you can go inside the command prompt and you can just type pip install NLTK so the moment you want to hit this it is just going to install a NLTK module and if I just go to the Python uh, official library, the version is NLTK 3.4.4 and since it has already been installed, so you will see this, if it is already installed and you want to have a upgraded version, you can use hyphen capital U NLTK, then it is going to get upgraded, right? So once that gets installed without any issue, what you have to do is to just ensure the version is correct, you can just import NLTK on the Python IDLE, okay? Okay, so once it gets installed, what you can do is you can first check the version and to get the version, you can use this dot double underscore version is 3.4. The other thing which I wanted to tell is if you want to see what our module inside this IPK, you can hit this print DIR since there is a lot many other things you know. You can see there are a lot of stuff which are here, right? So this library is very in very rich in the, you know in terms of you know the uh, features you know there are a lot of the stuff which NLTK provides to you to help you to just build your application and software for natural language processing natural language processing right and one of the example is NLTK comes up with you know a lot of data sets in build that you can utilize to make your understanding how the natural language processing works. And for that, one of the stuff is which I'm going to tell you how can you get all the data sets which NLTK provides. You have to type down bold, okay, and then you have to just save this. So the moment you will run this command NLTK or download, what it's going to do is just going to pop up a small window. From there, you can just you know install the data sets, whatever the data sets you want, right? In NLTK language, they call it corpus, right? So let's just wait for that window to pop up. See, this is the window you're gonna get when you are going to run this NLTK dot download showing info, right? So here you have a collection, you have opera, then models, all packages. I would suggest if you have, you know, you you can just install all of them by just clicking on collection and download. By default, what's gonna happen is it is going to install this under the C drive for NLTK underscore data, right? If you want to change it, you can come down here and you can just change the download directory, right? And now it's just taking you here and you can just, if you want to save it in the D drive, you can do that. So once that gets done, since I have already done it, so let me just show you how does it look like, right? So you come down to here and you can see this NLTK underscore data has been created and you can see these are the folders which are getting created for you, right? And in up, upcoming videos, we're going to see how we can just utilize all these data sets which we have inside our you know, focus, right? Now, the next thing is what you have to do is to, uh, there is another setting which you have to do is you have to go to my computer, this PC properties, and you have to change environmental variables so that when you run your program, you don't need to explicitly mention this, right? So you can add a new variable that is nlpk underscore data and then you have to give the path where you are actually downloading all the data sets right since i have already done it you can see that it's uh, nlpk underscore data and c column backwards slash nlpk underscore data right so this is what you have to do from the setup perspective of nlpk so we are good to go with that now let's quickly create a small program and where we just gonna try to understand the tokenization which we have in NLTK, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to import NLTK 
and then I'm just gonna create a sentence. Let's say the sentence I'm gonna give is hello she So I have just created this sentence, it has a lot of sentences, so let me just make it more interesting sentences. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to use one of the modules, let's say, sentence So what is tokens? So basically creating a token out of any sentence, it is known as a tokenization and identity word. So how does it how does it work, right? So actually, to create any machine learning model, anything, if you will, if you will, if you are trying to understand a machine learning, you will come across, you know, whenever you are having any text format of data, you are always going to first create a token out of it, right? So this is the I'm just gonna show you how this will make. Right. So we have two uh, modules. One is send underscore tokenize. Correct. And in this, what you have to do is you have to just pass your or the number of sentences you have. And if I just print this sentence to pins, let's see what we can. Right, so let me just save it and if I just put it here, maybe videos, PK, and I can get it on a save it. And if I run, see what happens. If I didn't make any mistake, then what we're gonna see is we are going to stick saying I just made a mistake saying okay. So what I have to do here is Okay, now see, we were having this sentence, hello Abhishek, because if we have this full stop here, then we are, what are you, what are you up to nowadays, okay, so what are you uh, up to nowadays, how is your work-life balance, so this is not considering, this is not being considered as a single sentence, it is just combining both of them. So these are just algorithm and just logic which is inbuilt in these modules and we really, really enjoy coding, right? So now we have three elements inside the list, right? We can easily, you know, wait for it. The other thing is what we can do with the same sentence is let me just create a word tokens. Let's see what happens if I'm just gonna create a word tokens, right? So what I'm gonna do this time, I'm just gonna use a token eyes. Tokens, let's see what I'm gonna see. And in this time, as name suggests, earlier we were getting a list of sentences, now we will get, uh, you know, word tokens. Okay, I'm just I'm gonna see, I'm making a lot of mistake nowadays. So I think now what we're gonna see is first we're gonna see the sentences as a list, element of this particular list. Now you see that each and every word is being uh, created as a single element of the list, right? Even that full stop also being considered, right? So there are a lot of, you know, the technical jargon in, um, you know, uh, in, in, the, in, a, in, a, in a NLP K, like we have tokenization, we have stamming, lemmatization, you know, we have word net, we have colloquialization, we have part, uh, parts of speech, you know, chunking. So a lot of concepts are there. And maybe in upcoming videos, I'm just gonna explain how can we do that because it looks like from the startup perspective, we are good to go. So that's it from my side for this particular video. If you have any feedback, any suggestion, please feel free to put that in the comment section. And if you really have any kind of suggestion from the coding standard, like what kind of code I have to do during giving this demo, please feel free to that do that for me. I would I would do my best to just include your suggestion while I'm just showing anything through the code. And as always, uh, you know, stay healthy and keep learning the new stuff. And if you really feel that, you know, these kind of videos can help your friends or the group, please feel free to forward to them. 
and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed it and if you really like the video then please give a thumbs up to that. Thanks, thanks for watching this again.